Now another type of disaster that occurs is called a tsunami. What's a tsunami? Uh, it's actually a huge tidal wave or a series of tidal waves that are caused because of disturbances on in the sea. And these disturbances can be because of earthquakes or volcanoes. Now think about it this way. Let's say you have a bucket of water and you put your hand in and you disturb it. You move it out a lot or you shake the bucket. You'll find that the water creates, there's a lot of ripples on the surface of the water, right? And it creates like very violent ripples. Now the same thing, imagine it occurs on a very large scale on the sea. Let's say there's an earthquake, right? The earth starts shaking and that creates a lot of disturbance in the water and this water starts creating huge ripples. Now, these ripples are what we see as waves and they'll be huge waves, right? And in fact, they can, they can reach heights of meters and they can travel at speeds of 800 to 900 kilometers an hour. These waves, when they reach the coast, right, it can originate from the center of the sea, but when they reach the land or the coast, they become much, much higher in height. They increase in height and therefore there's, imagine there's a huge wall of water that's coming in, falling into the coast. Obviously, this can cause a lot of death and destruction. It has unfortunately occurred before and has also caused a lot of damage before as well. Now, the name tsunami comes from the Japanese word which generally means harbor wave. Now, what, what can waves like this cause? Like what sort of damage can this cause? It's pretty obvious, right? It can obviously lead to loss of life. It can lead to loss of property, loss of damage to property. It can cause issues in harbors. It can completely demolish harbors, so on and so forth. And of course, it can also destroy plant life and animal life as well. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.